What if you went out this week and set up your pipeline, set up your funnel for those first few weeks of January so that you don't have that lag time, so that you don't have a sales cycle that goes into February, March before you're closing deals, that where you're setting up deals right now, today, that you'll close in the first week of January. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! That's right. This is the Sales Wolves podcast. It's episode 146. And today, I want to talk to you about the importance of finishing the year strong. But I think I'm going to come at it from a little bit of a different perspective because there's obvious reasons why you should finish the year strong. Hopefully, 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 if you've been watching this and listening to this podcast for any amount of time, or if you just have a pulse, you should have had, you should have set goals for 2019, right? Like that's, that should be a given. And it's obvious that you should finish the year strong so that you can not only meet, but hopefully exceed those goals. Now, the reality is a lot of you may be far from those goals that you set at the beginning of the year. Life happened to you, struggles, obstacles. It's still important to finish the year strong, even if you know you can't hit that goal that you set. But here's the perspective and the twist that I want to put it on it today. And the title of this podcast could be, well, let's call it finishing strong is a setup because the effort that you put in, in this last quarter, the effort that you put in, in this last month, the effort that you put in, in these last weeks of 2019 are a setup for 2020. And what do I mean by that? We all know that feeling of momentum, that feeling of momentum in your business, that feeling of momentum, you know, whether you are in sales and it's that momentum of, of having positive results and being able to feed more positive results, but there's no greater setup for 2020 than having positive momentum rolling out of 2019. So if it's the only reason that you go hard and put as much possible effort as you can in, in these last remaining days, let it be for 2020 to be your best year ever. Because what typically happens with salespeople, I've seen it happen a million times in other people's lives. And I've seen it happen plenty of times in my life, especially if you're in a commission only type sales environment. You hit the end of the year, you either hit your goal, you don't hit your goal, you exceed your goal, or you're far from it. But regardless, at the end of the year, you have this big uh, exhale. Because you know, when January 1 comes around, you're starting back over at zero. For many of us, we feel that every single month, right? You're starting back over at zero. You got to go hunt and kill what you eat. It's the greatest and the worst thing about being in sales is that feeling. But the way that you can set up your year for 2020 in these next few weeks and days, you will never be able to catch up because what typically happens that first month of the year, the first month of the year, you're kind of hung over from the last month of last year. You're, you're, you know, setting up, future business, you're getting back into your pipeline, you're going back to the basics, you're out cold calling and prospecting to get your funnel filled and new business brought back in. But what if you did that right now? What if you went out this week and set up your pipeline, set up your funnel 
for those first few weeks of January so that you don't have that lag time, so that you don't have a sales cycle that goes into February, March before you're closing deals, that where you're setting up deals right now, today, that you'll close in the first week of January. People have this mental block in their mind that somehow people don't do business around the holidays. That is 100% an excuse and it's self-imposed. People are still working around the holidays. People are still making decisions around the holidays. The problem is, is most people use that as an excuse and they use that as this mental block. They use that as a reason why they shouldn't go through and do the work, why they shouldn't do the activities, why they shouldn't go back to the basics, why they shouldn't go about their normal flow of operation because, oh, well, it's the holidays. The gatekeeper is probably going to block me or the business owner is probably going to be out of town or this or that or this or that. And we put these self-imposed limitations on ourselves from being able to set up January and February of next year. But I promise you, if what you are offering is of value, and if you have put in the practice to make sure that the way you pitch your service, your product, whatever it is that you're selling, if that is top notch, then someone is going to be equally as willing to pay for it, to sign a contract, to make a commitment on December 22nd, just as though they would on February 1st. There is no difference. The only difference is in your head. It's between your ears. So do not let the holidays be your excuse. Do not let the holidays be the reason why you take it easy when you could double down and make sure that the beginning of 2020 is the best kickstart you have ever had to your year. And so that's why finishing strong is a setup. It's important to go after those goals you had for this year. It is so important if you are far from your goal, if the goal that you set for 2019 is impossible, to chase after it until the very last minute builds your character, builds your discipline, and I would say is the definition of integrity. It's going after something long after it became impossible and it's giving it all you got. And it is a setup to have the absolute best year you have ever had next year because you can miss your goal by a long shot in 2019, but the effort that you put at the end of the year is going to carry over into 2020 and it's unmatchable. So you'll either do it or you don't but I promise you, you will feel it in January and February if you don't. And I promise you, you will feel it in January and February if you do. And I highly suggest you do. With that, guys, this is episode 146 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!